Hello again all you YouTube fans and all you die-hard creepy doll man fans from around the world. I'm back with an all-new episode. It is April the 13th, 2018. Time is now 3.28 a.m. Now, we go to find the final piece of the puzzle that was missing in our journey. Curse on it and possess dolls. What happens when their fame runs out? you may remember me if you don't I'll introduce myself to you again I met mentioned it before my name and I'm your host for this episode a lot of you remember me from curse on it and possess dolls are they real or are they fake you be the judge it was a five-part miniseries broken down into five parts if you hadn't seen that one you need to check that one out but I come back to bring back an old topic with a new twist. And this time we hadn't finished this tale. This is a missing piece of the puzzle that the creepy doll man wanted to bring back. After six months, I thought it was over. The creepy doll man is back to bring us back. But he decided not to come alone in this episode while we tell this tale. Because it is not a tale without the main one. So, creepy doll man is bringing back a friend. Or a person that has been shown in this video several times. And we decided to bring her back for this reason. Cheyenne the Haunted Doll. Now, we'll get into our topic. As you know, curse, haunted, and possessed dolls. Usually, they get their fame through their owners. Meaning, a quick rise in fame for the owners as they make, you know very much money in this ordeal as they increase their funds they get they seem to get famous and rich but what happens when the fame slowly runs out for these dolls what does happen to them nobody truly knows do they end up in the trash can in the garbage or do they end up in dispose of in any thrift stores or did they get put in yard cells or garage cells or any other point of ways to be disposed of? Or did they end up on eBay to be sold when their masters, or should they say their owners, no longer loves them? So what happens to their fame? Nobody truly knows. But let's get back to the topic. Which ones are the most famous ones out there? And which ones are the less famous ones out there, my friends? We'll start in West Keys, Florida. Everyone knows the famous Robert the Doll. He is well known to others. But remember this, I'm just mentioning the names. I'm not getting into details about which ones are famous and which ones are not. And tell any of their ordeal stories. Well, I have told their stories before, but maybe not told it all the way as it should be. Next one sits in Moreau, Connecticut. Sits within the Warner's Museum is the Annabelle doll. But the Annabelle doll is not the only doll they have. They also have the Doll of Shadows as well. So they are the two famous dolls within the Warner Museum. And then you have other ones from around the world as well. Peggy the Haunted Doll from UK. And there was a UK woman that had the creepy China doll, or you can call it the creepy bride doll, which she sold it and it ended up in someone else's hands. But no one knows who that mystery person is. And he has his videos on YouTube. But we keep on going down the line. There are other several famous dolls. Also, 
Okua, which is actually or Okea, which is sets in Japanese monastery in a temple to this day, which the hair grows. And there are some that's infamous, like this one, Cheyenne the Haunted Doll, from here, from Louisville, Kentucky. And if you haven't seen Cheyenne, you need to check her out in her story from her owner, which is the Creepy Doll Man. Everyone wonder why that I'm not dressed up to be the host of this time. Well, I decided to do a little different. As you know, this is springtime. And it is very warm. And off and on, it's been warm and cold here. It's good to go out to see the birds chirping. See the trees on the leaves growing. And the flowers blooming. And also you see people walk in the streets and you see people go in the park to either play basketball or baseball or just go out and play. And it doesn't matter if they're young or old, everyone seems to go out and have a good time. Let's get back to our topic. What does happen when a haunted doll's fame fades? Well, will they end up in the garbage can? Meaning trash for someone else's, or should I say someone else's dumb luck to own. Meaning someone out treasure hunting, or should I say maybe go out junking, may find these dolls. What luck will it be for them to own one? And what happened if they decide to sell it, or give it, or even take it and donate it, maybe to the thrift stores, or some other place? Nobody truly knows. Or what happened if it ends up in a new owner's hand, which will actually be on eBay when that owner decides he or she no longer wants it. And they decide it'll go to someone else's hands who has a lot of money and it also will grab up the dolls like this and put it in their museum. Nobody truly knows. But when fame and fortune does fade, what does happen to the dolls is a big mystery. And it's a mystery that the Creepy Doll Man will keep bringing you on Curse, on it and Possess Dolls. Because this chapter is not closed. It is now open. And as long as there's new haunted, or should I say, as long as there's new Curse, haunted or Possess Dolls out there, the Creepy Doll Man will keep bringing you back more information and do research on it very soon. So this chapter is not closed it has now been reopened for this 2018 and may never end so i'm your host and all you know me as the creepy doll man i have to give thanks to all those who support me and also I have to give thanks to all out there who gave me you know their blessing and I also thank all the subscribers out there who support the Creepy Doll Man and also are behind the Creepy Doll Man. And now I'll say this. Please subscribe today to see further new episodes to come from the Creepy Doll Man. And please view all my old and new episodes. Why? Because they're going to multiply just as fast as these dolls are. And now I'll say Creepy Doll Man says we're already at 195 and still growing strong. But it's still not the end. The cycle may not end. Keep watching for a new episode from the Creepy Doll Man. If he gets his 200 doll, he will do a 200 episode. Or will we call it 200 video coming soon. It's now been leaked out. So keep watching for that to come too. Now say this to all my YouTube fans. And all my non, well, I don't use non YouTube fans anymore. But I'll say this to all my Creepy Doll Man fans from around the world. Whether you like him, love him, or hate him, the Creepy Doll Man is still here to stay. And his home is permanently here on YouTube only. Now, you see me where else but YouTube? That is not the true Creepy Doll Man's true home. Only YouTube is where you can see me and subscribe to the Creepy Doll Man today. A further new episodes to come. Now I'm Creepy Doll Man stating to all his fans out there, goodbye and God bless you all.